The following contains spoilers, so proceed with caution. I have one more email question to get through. Here's our email right here. Hey, DC. Currently, the Rotten Tomatoes audience score is 93%, and the critic score is 85%. Those aren't much different. However, there are thousands of audience scores and only hundreds of critic scores. Why do you think critics are enjoying the Batman less than the fans? Thanks for reading my email, Clark Morris. Uh, it's not a big discrepancy there. I just, we talked about this on one of our, our shows before where there were reviews of the Rotten Tomatoes where it's like, we said this earlier today, where it's dark, too dark, and too much rain. And this is what I want. And actually somebody pointed out that one of them is a critic but their Twitter ha- name is like Marvel Fangirl or something. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. well, like, 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 and this is my thing with Ron Tomatoes is like, who are, there are top critics and I would like to see the percentage of the t- top critics. It might even be lower, but I would like to see what the percentage is because for me, cr- critiquing films has turned from people who, uh, well, I think everybody appreciate it, but understand it and are critiquing the movie itself and the story and the direction, the lighting and all of that, you know, like Roger Ebert, Siskel and Ebert way, way, way back. Like these people cared about it and wanted to tell you, this is a good movie for these reasons. And now it's not critiques, it's opinions that are getting up on Rotten Tomatoes and all these things. And, you know, like I have an opinion of this movie. It's freaking fantastic. That's not a review. That's my opinion. If I was, if I were to critique this movie, it might change, but I'm not critiquing it because Batman, Star Wars and Spider-Man all get a free pass from me. But that's how I feel. I just think there's too many opinions and not and not critiques uh, from a lot of these reviewers nowadays. Andrew? Yeah. Uh, what's the name of the person who wrote this question? Sorry, something Morris? It was Clark, Clark Morris. Morris. Clark, uh, we, we got to remember not to put too much stock in Rotten Tomatoes. It's just an aggregate at the end of the day. And based on what I've seen of especially modern professional critics and i hate to make this generalization but professional critics their their go-to setting seems to be i'm gonna shit on whatever's popular and i'm only gonna like oscar bait movies um and that's just because all the critics i've listened to seem to follow that road it's like okay everybody loves marvel let's hate it uh and and then i feel like that can kind of translate into anything that has a superhero in it so I feel like a lot of the low critic scores are just people coming from that direction. You know, oh, it's not Scorsese, so we hate it. Um, and I, I, I don't know. That That's just me. That's just how I see it. And I feel like at the end of the day, the only opinion that matters, Clark, is yours. Right. Uh, the, I was talking to some friends earlier where I was like, I said, you know, I said straight up, I was like, The Dark Knight Rises is my favorite Batman movie but this might be a new champion, the Batman. And the only thing that those people I talked to got out of it was, how can you say the Dark Knight Rises is better than the Dark Knight? And it just, <laughs> it turns into this thing that it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be that. Just in love what you love and make a safe space for everybody to love what they love. And if these critics hate it, right, they can hate it all they want. All I know is I can't wait to watch this again. Scotty? Yeah. I'm going to be seeing it again, um, mainly because my girlfriend, bless her, allowed me to go see this the first showing I could because I didn't want any of it spoiled. But and for anyone who like is on the fence about it or has a significant other that isn't into comic stuff, I'm telling you, man, the Selena Kyle storyline with Bruce Wayne, like your girlfriend's going to fall in love with both of those characters if they do it anywhere near what they do in the comics. Uh, so for me, like this movie and the criticism that it's getting from the the old heads like us, the comic fans, like it's going to bring in more people and it's going to get them to read that stuff. The Court of Owls stuff, if they do it, like I just think this movie is overall good for Batman, good for the franchise and like the little nitpicking and stuff like that. There's a lot of it that's going on for views and people admit it, you know, a lot of a lot of YouTubers credit whatever you, you know that's your grind but they're they're obvious about it nowadays so you know kind of where to go and you know what you're gonna get when you go there and uh i i get guilty of it i've been dragged into it and i i get toxic at times but you got to just focus on you know what makes you love this stuff 
really. Yeah, and then yeah. you tell them they're wrong. Rob, you you uh, <laughs> and then we you all joke about Andrew now it. because yeah. <laughs> Rob, why don't you Hopefully. fight Andrew now about the Dark Knight versus Dark Knight? Rob, I'm just joking. What do you make of this, Rob? <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, I, I make of it like, you know, looking at that percentage, like, you know, there's not much of a gap there at all. Like, it's still like, you know, whether 90 something, what, what was the number for fan rating? It was 92 or something like that in the 90s, 93, of, yeah. 93 of, a percent of fans liked the movie versus 85% of critics liked the movie. There's not much of a gap there. It's not like something like Uncharted, which was like 40% versus 90%, or, you know, uh, even like uh, something like Batman v Superman, that's like 25% versus. Uh, 60 something percent like uh, on that that's a much like bigger disparity disparity i think and it's like when you look at this movie like i understand why you know critics might not like it as much like you know we're, we're running into those fan ratings of the people that within you know the first couple of days that this movie has come out so the people that are really wanting to see it have seen it now so that usually equates to like this big fan rating right now and when it comes to the critics i mean this 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 movie goes on such far of a tone that if it's like if that tone isn't for you or something like that or at least that this tone isn't for you for a comic book movie then you know that that's what that could that's what could lead to you know uh some of the critics not liking it and when it comes to critics in general and that are on rotten tomatoes i mean there are more youtubers on on rotten tomatoes now than ever before and it's like th those people get to have have their say and, and whatnot it's not like the same type of you know, uh, critic aggregator that you'd be looking at, you know, like 15 years ago or something like that, right? Like the, 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 the critic game has changed a lot and it's like, you know, at the same time, these are all their opinions and it's like when we're looking at things that, you know, it's like, oh, they seem to like all the uh, all, all these types of, you know, uh, awards like, you know, uh, movies and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's like you look at something like the MCU, every single movie of the MCU except for Eternals has been very possibly received by the critics and it's just like you know you look at something like uh spider-man which was well into the 90s like no way home and stuff like that so 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 fans and critics can be united on some of that this type of stuff and like i said like you know at the end of the day it's just when you look at one person's review that's just one person's view you can still go see it and decide for yourself and whether you like it or not if you're hyped to see this movie you should 100 percent go see it and even if you're on the fence about this movie and you're hearing all this stuff about it i think that this movie is worth going to go see just because of you know how different it is like you know than something like the mcu just just as a comparison point even if you're not excited to see this movie i think it's really good movie to see because you get to see like it's like oh this is what you know like a very very gritty superhero movie looks like and you know you get you get that out of it so yeah just bring just if if, if your bladder's small just bring a, a cup to, to go in in case you have to this is a very solid movie like take superheroes it's just a good it feels like you know i said this yesterday on the the, the non-spoiler review but it was my first time back in the theater since Spider-Man, which isn't that long, but it was still a couple of months, and this was like the great, the perfect movie to go back and experience in the theater because it was just, it was a film. Like it was, this was everything you want to go to see the movie for, and uh, whatever critics were critics and and whatever, and like like it's still like it's such a high, like eighty whatever percent is still really high when you're given the amount of people who just like to hate things, right? We see the hate, you know, you see the hate, uh, what is it, the hate vote, downvoting because we restore the Snyderverse on Godzilla versus King Kong, and you're like, you know. So, yeah, trust yourself. Get to know critics. If you are following the YouTubers, get to know people online and social media that you appreciate and respect and that their opinions, and those are the ones that maybe you should trust more than anything.